Last night, I got contacted by Nebraska, Baylor, Georgia, Memphis, Duke, uh, Ohio State, Alabama, Yukon, and Pittsburgh. Stop me, I feel like the greatest. Don't say be humble, I patiently waited. All of this love and I ain't even made it. I got a plan for them niggas that hate it. Wanna send bitch for my bros, I'ma make it. They want me going, I can't walk around naked. Even my brother got caught in me, ate it. No one can stop me, I feel like the greatest. Terrence Clark, we had the MBPA camp in Virginia. We about to get lit, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great setting. Tune in right now. When I was nine or ten years old, I, I definitely didn't see this. I never had the vision of you know being who I am now, and you know that's why I, every day I just get in the gym and work because when I was younger, I never thought this would ever happen to me. I was playing basketball for fun back home in Boston. You know, we was one of the best teams in New England. We didn't lose a game for two years straight. And then in fifth grade, we actually went out to Atlantic City to play basketball against some more competition. And we lost to team takeover by, I think, 35 plus. That's when I, I really cried, sat there and said, you know, I want to take this serious. Hey! Let's go! Let's go! You throw it up, no, you can throw it up, no, you throw it up. The college coaches to be at my game, I try not to pay attention to it too much, you know, because they're right there and they're obviously looking at my every move. So I just try to be on my best behavior. I felt a lot of pressure when I was like first going through this stuff, but now that I've been playing in front of them a lot more, it's just more just, you know, just playing. Like I just have fun. This is the game that I love and I've been playing since I was in fifth grade. So you know, I just want to show that. I'm a great player, obviously versatile, and have skills to like, you know, play the next level. I got a reply to this call, yo. Yo, bro, it, would this be, is this messed up? If I just send that back to that? No. Basketball, of course, is a, a bigger part in our, our lives, but, you know, stuff that's off the court, you know, we're gonna be 18, 19 years old, like, life gets real. So, you know, learning the stuff off the court from them, you got those guys that's already been in the NBA or guys that's been through it. It's just, you know, it's, it's mindful and it helps us you know, when we get older. You did four perfect possessions by not rushing. You came off the pick, you did what you had to do. But why you rush the fifth one? Come on, don't rush it. When you go off the screen, that's rushing. Pull that thing back, okay? And you come off that screen, bam, okay? With Ricky Davis being on me as hard as he is, it just shows me that, you know, I have, I have a chance. Definitely expects a lot out of me. Like, he's been in the NBA. You know, with him giving out tips and stuff like that, trying to be helpful, you know, it's, it's great. You know, nowadays the generations has changed, so, um, you know, you can't be all crazy and hard like I grew up back in the day. You know, coaches are just riding you the whole practice. So, you know, you hit them here, hit them there, get them with some good teaching points and, and you know, just watch his growth. So you see how you got that steal? Yeah. That's that energy right there. Now, you could be, you could be the best, you could be the best in this mother but you gotta lead by example. Yeah. They following you. They say, well, Terrence ain't playing deep. He's shooting all the shots. But you turn it on, you can be amazing. Come on. I think Ricky just wanted me to play defense a lot, so I think I'm gonna just add that to my game, really, because if I don't play defense, he gonna yell at me a million times, so. Just playing both sides of the court. You know, just regain steals and stuff like that. That leads to run outs. You know, just getting layups or, you know, finding somebody else with easy buckets. So, like, two to three steals or, you know, defensive stops to get a defensive rebound. He's, he's one of the best players in the camp, so um, he has to always be ready, always be 100%, 120%. That's what the coaches are looking for. Camp environment, I feel like it is better to showcase your skills, especially with me trying to be a point guard. You know, I want to bring the ball up, you know, come off screens and stuff like that, find out the guy. I think I can play the role. You know, if you gave me the role, I think I definitely can do it. You know, I think I can pass it, I can score it. I think I can show a lot of people that I can play definitely like one, two, or three. I'm a national champion, so I know I know how you feel. Oh, national, national. 
Nefsack, Nefsack National Champion. <laughs> you ain't got nobody in the league. Yo, yeah. Oh, so he Geico. So, hey, he just bums. Y'all are a tournament. Geico Nationals, right, exactly. That's the National Championship. Y'all are a tournament champion. So, we're tournament champion. Y'all won, like, that's the ACC Championship. Y'all won that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just like that. So, we play everything. And y'all conference. Y'all didn't play them. Walking out of MBPA, I think everybody can say that they learned something, you know, just to take with them. With this summer coming up, I think, you know, just trying to work on my, every part of my game, you know, my jump shot, my handle, everything I can do on the court, you know, it's going to better for me. So I try to work on everything this summer. Uh, out the camp, I think I'm going to be working out a lot, getting ready for Peach Jam uh, July 10th. But after that, I'll just be working out and stuff like that, probably getting ready for uh, Steph Curry camp and try to get into skills as much as I can. The main goal is to make it to the NBA. So Michael Porter and, and Trey Young or like guys like Colin Sexton and those guys. I always looked up to them and was like, you know, I want to be like them one day, you know, like top prospect in the country like I am now. So like, God willingly, I make it to the NBA. I just want to take care of everybody that's been through this journey. What's up, you guys? It's Taylor Rooks with Bleacher Report. Make sure that you subscribe for more video content.